What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Noisy here. I gotta say it feel good to be back. I had some trouble with my setup and some other stuff was going on in life and I'm back. For me anyway, it's been about a week hiatus. Feel like it's been a long time. But anyway, this is just kind of a different video. Before I get started, please like and sub if you like my content. I go over games that I particularly like, stuff that inspire me, and stuff that's kind of different and new. Also, this video is sponsored by Dubby Energy Drink. If you like energy drinks, put my code in, you get 10% off. Now, obviously, you can tell by the background, I want to talk about Overwatch. So I'm going to flip over to the gameplay here that is provided by, give credit what credit is due right quick. Orbital Gameplay. So join us up. Matter of fact, let me give a like right here on the spot. So <clears throat> I just want to say for myself, I played Overwatch 2 just for a little bit of time because um, I didn't know it was missing the single player content. And for me, that's what the game is about. Now I know the hardcore players that play, you know, with the team mode, you got your character that you choose, well, a couple characters, right? That you gotta learn how to play the team action and everything else. For me, and I'm just curious about how other people feel about this, kind of why I wanna make this video. So let me know in the comments. But for me, it's, I don't know how team based it actually is, you know, cause I, I like the Apex style. We use, you know, you need to know at least two to three characters, you know, yo, how you want to play you can still play but if you really learn how to use your character no matter who what team you got um you'll still do well now of course there's better setups other than you know better than most i'm pretty sure people have found like the perfect team but here in overwatch to me and i'm, I'm not coming from no place where i like no overwatch 100 percent. i'm not i've only played the first one just for a little bit during the holidays when it was free and i played this one here recently and i plan on jumping back into it but it just still seems like it's still that team based combat i can't really play with who i want to play with effectively i feel like i have to pick according to the team now i may be wrong about that about that but about that <laughs> about that but that's just how i feel because i particularly like um oh man the korean and soldier's pretty cool too but for me and that goes to show you how much I know about it. <laughs> I forgot her name, man. I actually had the... Uh... Oh, man, I'm not even going to edit this video. But <clears throat> my point is that, for me, I'm waiting on the single-player content. And it's very important to me to have, like, other stuff going on in your game besides um, just the multiplayer content of it. And I think a lot of games are starting to come to that realization that you know there's other people who really enjoy the world enjoy the characters but it's not offering enough for them because i really like overwatch i really like overwatch characters i like the mini shorts and all that but i just wanted to experience digging deeper into the world and the characters and everything else so and i'm not just talking for nothing i have to pull this out of the library here i have the overwatch art book <clears throat> and it has it's pretty thick thing it was like 40 something dollars and it has detailed artwork on all the characters you know the spaces the, the food and stuff i'm just looking at it the food the vehicles all that and i'm just like man they spent time to make all this stuff right all these characters have a lot of beautiful artwork to them but you can't really explore that because it's just multiplayer so i'm just waiting on the uh single player aspect of the game to come here but i had made a video about it before and i didn't know that it wasn't going to come with that content first and i know there's been a lot of stuff for, since microsoft bought um the company and everything and some other crazy stuff with the with the um the manager of the company and everything else that i'm not going to get into in this video so i imagine that's probably why they want to get it out but overall i think it's still like a beautiful package the characters you know it just has more in the graphics department and the characters look different they have like little different nuances on them more detail and stuff and that's cool i like it it's not a bad game at all it's just it reiterates to me how important the single player content is especially like i said when you have characters that's so well crafted right 
you want to know more about the backstory. You know, you want to find out about them. But I just appreciate creativity. So I might just title this video that appreciating creativity. So, you know, developers spend a lot of time making this stuff, you know, just, you know, if you're a developer watching this or, you know, um, the developers themselves just know, like, you know, some people, you know, really appreciate your artwork and everything that you've done and look at games a little bit more differently than others because I'm a developer myself and I just want to see more from these characters. I want to, I can't wait for the single player content and I hope it's pretty big. I hope that they take their time with it and, you know, the character stories is pretty fleshed out and everything because like with Apex, um, and there's been others. Oh, uh, Destiny had one too. There's like two storylines of first person shooters that really stuck out to me. And again, if you this far in the video, let me know what you think in the comments. But uh uh I forgot that event in Destiny 2 where the robot came in and you got the Uz the Uzanagi's burden. Like that storyline was one of the coolest to me. Like there was a lot of stuff they didn't tell you, but it was like so many things I was making up in my head around it. And it was so cool going through that whole adventure. That one and Eloba from um, Apex Legends. The way they did her story, you know, they showed her as a little girl. The robot came in, killed a, a character that was supposed to be in the game, right? It was really just, a, you know, a joke, a cool trick. But I've never seen that before. You know, I've never seen that. And then in Apex, every time a new character comes, they actually change the stage or something crazy. They have something to do with some mainline event. So, you know, if you're not an Apex player... That's cool, right? Because it's a multiplayer game just like this is. It's kind of in the same boat. But check it out. Check out the storyline, the animated shorts and everything. Because they all collapse into each other, man. And that's really cool. Like, it's something about, like, you know, it's all fictional and everything. But it's cool to see, like, your favorite character get along with another character, you know. And the voice acting and everything is just on par. And that's another thing about, well, all these games. But Overwatch 2 put on the map is that, like, that voice acting, man. It's so important to find the right voice actor for games like i'm gonna link a couple of videos in this uh in the comments below but it was like a couple videos i watched on the voice actors like one was from here and one played um uh the uh, uh eno from guilty gear she played her and played one in here and then you know there was a, a couple of voice actors that played different things and it's just like really cool hearing them because the characters the voice actors actually match with the characters most of the time and that's really cool like it's so important to match the character with the voice or my or match the <laughs> match the character with the voice but match the voice actor with the character <laughs> so but yeah it's just overwatch is really cool to me because it taught me a lot in a lot of different fields as a uh, character developer um i hope to one day get to this point too but um yeah man that's just some thoughts that i just want to um put out and say on the game just give you an update because i made a previous video with drippy 1k we were talking about it um both again we're not coming from any kind of hardcore overwatch players but it looks really cool when it was anticipating it and uh, you know after digging into the first person mode when it come out i might spend some time with the multiplayer um you know, get a team here and get going on it. But yeah, just wanted to give you an update on my take on Overwatch 2. Noisy out.